to our channel. Today we are covering to get foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are which part of TOGAF describes a step-by-step -step approach to developing an enterprise architecture? Option A, ADM guidelines. Option B, architecture capability framework. Option C, architecture content framework. Option D, architecture development method. And option E, Enterprise Continuum and Tools. The correct answer is option D. Next question is, which of the following does TOGAF provide as a set of reference materials for establishing an architecture function within an organization? Option A, Architecture Content Framework. Option B, Technical Reference Model. Option C, Integrated Information Infrastructure Reference Model. Option D, Architecture Development Method. And Option E, Architecture Capability Framework. The correct answer is Option E. Next question is, which of the TOGAF architecture development phases is the first phase of an architecture development cycle defines the scope for an engagement and identifies the stakeholders option a architecture change management option b architecture vision option c business architecture option d preliminary phase and option e technology architecture the correct answer is option b next question is which of the following does the TOGAF ADF recommend for use in developing the architecture vision option a architecture principles option b business scenarios Option C, interoperability analysis. Option D, migration planning techniques. And option E, risk management techniques. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF document define as architectural work product that describes an aspect of the architecture option a application platform interface option b artifact option c building block option d deliverable and option e framework The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which part of the TOGAF document describes taxonomies for categorization the, sorry, for categorizing the outputs of architecture activity? Option A, ADM guidelines and techniques. Option B, architecture capability framework. Option C, Architecture Development Method and Option D, Enterprise Continuum and Tools. The correct answer is Option D. Next question is, which of the following is described by the TOGAF document as a detailed plan of the system at component level to guide its implementation? Option A, Architecture. Option B, Artifact. Option C, Deliverable. Option D, Model. 
and option E view. The correct answer is option A. Next question is complete the sentence. The standards information base is repository area that option A defines the parameters, structures and processes to support governance of the architecture repository. Option B describes the organization specific architecture framework and method. Option C lists a set of specifications to which architectures must conform. Option D provides a record of the governance activity across the enterprise. And option E provide guidelines, templates and patterns used to create new architectures. The correct answer is option C. Next question is, which of the following does the TOGAF document describe as the risk categorization prior to determining and implementing mitigating actions? Option A, the critical level of risk. Option B, the initial level of risk. Option C, the intermediate level of risk. Option D, the mitigated level of risk. And option E, the residual level of risk. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, in phase B, C and D of the ADM cycle, the first step defined is to select reference models, viewpoints and tools. Which of the following is the next step in each of these phases? Option A. Conduct formal stakeholder review. Option B. Create architecture definition document. Option C. Develop baseline architecture. Option D. Perform gap analysis. And option E. Resolve impacts across the architecture landscape. And the correct answer is option C. Thank you.